Hi, in this video, part two about creating palettes, I'm going to show you some really useful and kind of hidden options concerning the creation of palettes. So let's select palettes here, click here, and uh, before we go to the palettes menu, here are some uh, previewing options concerning this tab that are new. For example, this show button bar. Here in sample points, we didn't have any buttons, but here we do. We have the ability to hide them if you want to. We can also view them as list or as a grid, like that. Let's go back to the default. We can also select the preview size, tiny, let's say enormous, or any size that fits your needs here. Now the palettes menu options here hide some really useful ways we can create palettes and transfer palettes to gradients for example. Now you can access these options from here or you can simply right click on a palette and you get the same options. So some of them are already familiar from a previous video. Edit palette, new palette, duplicate palette, delete palette and refresh palettes. This is already discussed. Now let's start with palette to gradient option here. Now I have selected my blend tool. You see this gradient here and if I click on that you see how I am transferring my palette to a gradient. Now the next option palette to repeating gradient this means that right now this gradient is starting with white color here and uh, if I click palette to repeating gradient I'm going to create a gradient that will start and it will end with the same color. Now the next option here is sort palette. We get this dialog where we can sort the colors in a palette by a color model here by hue saturation value or by red, green and blue. We can uh, also use the channel to sort. We can select ascending yes or no and then click OK and sort our colors. Now the next option here offset palettes. We get this dialog. Let's bring out this palette here. Right now you see my red color is in the end and the white color is in the beginning. If I offset by one, I will get this red color to become first here and this color uh, will become last. So let's click OK. You see how that works. Of course, with, you can offset with a higher value. Now the next option here, copy palette location. If you click here, you copy uh, the palette location in your clipboard and if you uh, have some text editor or just select the text tool here make a window and then control V and you'll see where your palettes are stored. Now the next option here probably the most useful one import palette. If we click on that we get this uh, dialog and now we can um, import palettes from here from a gradient for example, if I choose, let's say this gradient, I can import this here to my palettes. Also, I can select this option image here and uh, selected pixels only. Right now, this is uh, making a palette from this image. If I selected pixels only, grab my rectangle select tool and make a selection here you see is only uh, grabbing the colors inside this selection. And here I can also uh, import a palette from a file here. I can rename it. Let's say to that I can select the number of colors that I want this palette to hold, the columns and the interval. So let's click on import here. And you see how I created this palette from this selection of the image here. This can be very useful if you have some 
digital photograph and you like some colors there and instead of going to the color selection dialog and uh, using the eyedropper here to try to select colors and then add them to a palette you can use this option here to do that very quickly so basically that's it for palettes bye for now